My name is Jared Everwine. I'm here to show you step by step how to do a 360 tilt. First off, you gotta find a comfortable jump, whether it's a box jump or a dirt jump, whatever you're comfortable on. And second, you have to know how to do a straight 360 and a straight tilt. So once you get to that point, then it's time to work on the three whip. The speed of the 360 tail whip, I would say is a, a bit slower than an average 360 because you have to go off the lip and find your point where you're going to stall out and start the tail whip. The starting point of the tail whip for me, I make sure I go off the lip, wait just a tad bit, so like a little bit before 90 so that at that point you're not going to kick the tail whip and drag it off the lip. When you go into a 360 tail whip and you, you start the tail whip off too early, Typically, it's going to drag off the lip, and depending on how bad you do it, it's either going to smack the lip and stop and just completely go wrong and scare you really bad, or you might get away with it and actually just scrape off the lip, really slow your three down and mess everything up, but you might get out of it. But that's one thing to definitely look out for is to not go too early. When I was learning the 360 whip, I had a hard time of waiting because I was thinking I just need to get it over with as soon as possible so I was kicking the back tire right into the lip all the time and once I figured out I'm sure someone probably helped me out and said wait a little bit once they told me that then it just clicked and was like there you go. The focus of my 360 tail whip halfway through it is concentrating on like my arm motion just as if you would a straight tail whip but you don't have to give it too much arm motion as you would a straight jump because the 360 kind of helps flow that tail up around. After the tail started, my focus goes towards the pedals. My front foot goes on first, so that kind of stops the tail up. Then back foot goes on, and at that point, then I can focus my attention on the landing and looking where else I need to go. In the past, I found it really helpful to see footage of myself doing the trick that I was struggling with to show me what I was doing wrong. In this case, if you're struggling with a 360 tail whip, maybe have a, a friend film you real quick and give you knowledge on what to do. This is a trick bringing two of your tricks together and the more comfortable you get, you can add on to it or bring more variations into it. <laughs> 